hello everyone welcome to lara tips in today's video we'll be doing one refactoring before our index space for any of these roles looked like this the filter was like this but now we'll turn this into this we'll add a filter button and whenever we click on it then only this will be visible and again if we click on it then it will be invisible by default it will not be visible and before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. So currently I am here in the index of the category and here is the button. So let me create a div over here and inside here I'll add one more div and here I'll add this button. Button will be on the left hand side and on the right hand side there will be another button and it will be let's say color will be white and here will be the icon and if we we'll just look here in the icons slash edit then if we see here inside this icons folder we have edit and trash but now we'll add a filter so if we go here in the heroicons.com and search for filter then we'll see this let me click on copy on svg and over here let me say here filter dot view and i'll generate a view 3 component and paste that code over here and i'll remove these classes now after that i'll go here in the index and i'll add that icon over here let's say filter icon like this so that will not get confused so i'll say class let's say w4 and h4 and let me import this icon over here so like this import filter icon from this so we are here at the at this page now we'll do here class it will be flex items will be center and justify between so that they will be on the left and right end now let me come here and refresh the page then we'll see here this icon over here and whenever i click on it will be like this and if i show you here in the button then i have added this white over here and the code will be in the github you can easily access it so after this now let us create a ref over here let us just go here and let's say const so filters ref false now let me just go over here and whenever i click on this button so i'll say click so filters is equal to not so filters so that whenever it is true and we click on it it will turn it into false and vice versa and after this we will only show these filters so here I'll say v dash if so filters and let me move this code from here to let's say here like this. Okay, now we have done this and now let me go here and refresh the page. And now if I click here, then it is visible. And if I again click here, then it is not visible. And there is this no margin top. Let us give that as well. So let me just go over here. And let me say here class empty four and let me come here and refresh the page then i can see this margin top over here and if you look here then we should use this same thing in the multiple pages so let us create a component for that so let me just go over here and inside the components if we just go over here in the components here inside the components folder let us say add new dot view and view three composer setup and let us make use of some slots so that we don't have to pass many props here we are using the scan route resource 
so filters these filters these root categories there are so many things and we don't want to pass so many things from this component to another component as a prop so we'll make use of slots so for that let me just copy this thing from here and paste it over here similarly let me import that class that we used earlier so this one and i don't want this over here i'll just delete it and paste it over here similarly let me also import button and i'll add that over here similarly i'll also import view import empty object from view and we'll just let me just copy that so filters like this this from here and paste it over here and let me just import the ref you can see here it is imported over here and let me remove these spaces and if we just go over here so here let me just write here so i'll just do it like this and add new like this and let me import this one so here i'll just duplicate it and i'll paste it over here like this now just let me go here add new and by default whatever button that we write over here we want it to be visible like this so i'll just go over here and i'll write here slot slot like this and now i'll just cut it from here and paste it over here like this now this thing will be visible over here now let us work on these filters these filter buttons we don't want to pass it as a slot because that is common for everything so we'll not do that and this thing can be different for different things because here we are passing categories but in other crowds we might have to pass some other things so this can be different so i'll just write here another slot and here will be name as let's say filters and now i'll just cut it from here i'll write it over here let's say template and i'll just write here filters like this and paste it over here like this now we don't have to pass all these things as a prop so now here i have already removed that and we have this filter over here and this is just toggling the show filters but i need to check here like this p dash if and let's say so filters if so filter is true then only so these filters because we have passed it over here now we don't want these so filters over here because that is being handled from inside let me save it and let me come here and refresh the page now you can see here by default it is hidden and if i click on here then it is coming out and if i click on it then it is hidden but there is one more thing that we need to work on is let's say we don't have any filters on some cruds okay then if i come here and refresh the page then also we are seeing this filter icon but we don't want this to be visible and if i click on it also nothing is happening so let me undo it and come here and let me only show this button if there is anything that is passed here like this this filters is passed like this so here i'll say v dash if dollar slots dot and the name of the slot this filters like this so if anything is passed inside this slot filters then only show this filter button otherwise don't show it now let me again let's say comment it and let me come here and refresh the page then we cannot see here filters because there is no filters being passed over here but if i just do it like this and come here and refresh the page then we'll be able to see the filter and if i click on it then it will show me the filters and again if i click on it then it will hide it and likewise you can do the same thing for this user roles and permission index page as well i'll do all this behind the scene and push it to the github repository and if you want then you can just pull it but i would recommend you to do it by yourself so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye